Hey guy, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of WoW vs. DDO. And in our last episode, we, uh, well, we're getting further and further here. Um, actually, it's kind of funny because the last episode, I actually recorded late. And I was thinking, oh, you know what, I'll uh, kind of review or what my thoughts are on the new expansion, Dragonflight. But they actually announced it the day after after I recorded that episode. So, now they've actually announced it and I, I just wanted to chime in, give my two cents. As always, I'm I'm actually more of a positive thinking person, you know, always giving things the benefit of the doubt, trying to find the positive in all things. Um, that's kind of how I am. Uh, you know, so, a lot of people have talked about issues they've had and with you know expansions and other games not necessarily just this game I don't even know what we're doing over here we need to, to, to do anima trapped and the house of ritual corpses sundered is that over here as well it is so we need to these guys right here um guys all over the place so if we were wraith um anyway so i'm pretty excited about it i'm a little confused and maybe i just don't understand all the lore and and in depth i already know i don't understand it in depth but uh with with uh, Dragonflight, one of my questions, and it's probably a dumb question, but that's okay, it's my question, is that um, when the dragons, can I sap you? I can sap you. Do you have money? You do. So when the dragons gave their power and I guess they didn't technically give all their power but like they they all lost the glowing of their eyes when they gave their power to um, take care of I might want to stun him just once more uh, take care of Notharion or Deathwing okay no pockets to pick alright well let's go ahead and smack him and move back here no come come back here dude um, you're gonna get everyone if you stay there. Yeah, hold ya. Uh, so anyway, I can't move. There we go. I, I really don't want to get the guy behind me yet. So my question is, you know, I thought they gave like most of their thing, and I think Ysera, who's the Dragon of the Dreams. She actually, I think she actually died and turned into stars, um, unless I'm wrong. Does that do a whole bunch or just one? What does this do? Oh, I can cleanse the guys I kill. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so we'll go up there and do those guys next. It almost seems like Anima Conflicts empowered. Clear crystal. Oh, okay. That's what I'm waiting. I'm getting that thing to go full up. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Uh, oh, that guy can see me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sneak up on these guys. Um... Let's just pick his pockets real quick. We're, we're going to get the other guy regardless. On this one. Uh, let's see. Can I... Picking your pockets? Nope. Oh, am, I, am I clicking on him? There we go. So yeah, we, we got the other guy regardless. Uh, so anyway... I think the idea is really cool. I like what is in this uh, coming in this expansion. 
I think it's really cool that they're uh, looking to make it so uh, you can. Uh... Oh, there's still this other. There was four? Can't grab that guy. Uh, I think it's really cool how they're kind of advancing flying. So the way it's, it works is you actually uh, have a dragon mount and you train it and kind of teach it. You, you learn different types of flying tech. I thought I killed you. Is he coming up here? Is he like stuck? Oh, I think so. I think he made this guy. Um, anyway, so I, I think the, the idea behind it's actually kind of cool and I, I look forward to playing it. Uh, I'm confused, like I said, about Yasira. I'm really not very good at talking about this stuff, especially while I'm trying to play. I'm just going to end up just repeating myself a whole lot. But I did want to talk about the different things, how, how I think they're really cool. Um, some of the things I, I like... Oh man, can I get that? Do I need this for my... Actually, I don't know that that did anything. Alright, well let's do this real quick before bodies start despawning. It looks like they already did. So we didn't get a lot there. Yeah, we didn't get... I should have done that earlier. Uh, anyway, so let's talk really quick before I go moving on too far. Because obviously I can't talk and play at the same time very well. Uh, I just have it open on my page. So I just want to talk about the things that I really think are kind of cool. Um, so there is a new player race slash class. Which is kind of interesting that they intertwined that. So... The race actually is the class, uh, and that's you. You can now be a a dragonborn. Oh, that's that's D and D, but you can be a drakthir, um, which is interesting. That it's actually a class and a race, kind of in the same thing. So that means with these guys, you can only be that class. Which I'm not sure how I feel about that. It'll be interesting to see those classes, how they work. Um, then it also talks about how you can be a dragon rider. You can uh, you start out with a drake, and and as you advance and teach it or whatever, you learn new tricks like dive bombing and do a barrel roll, all kinds of cool stuff like that, which is I think is pretty cool, um, and gives you customizations there. The new area, dragon, uh, the dragon isles looks really cool um the area they've done a real good job with the graphics and stuff like that it looks awesome uh and then i i like the new talent system uh i think that's cool i i've never really have been a huge fan of this thing where you just have uh your talents and you just choose one of these three one of these three one of these three so now they're moving back to a talent tree where you can actually kind of go specializing in, in multiple directions. Of course, they're still going to, like any tree, it's going to have, you know, you need this to get this, and if you don't have this, you definitely can't get one over here. They did say they're working on professions and crafting, which I honestly think in up to, what would it have been? Probably up to about... Pandaria, Cataclysm, um, maybe a little of the, is it Battle for Azeroth or Heroes, what was that one called? I can't remember the name of the expansion. But for me, I mean, we're a miner in this, right? We, we you know, have mining skill. We have lots and lots of ores that we've mined. But we have never smelted it. We have never sat down at a campfire and cooked stuff. And I think at some point it kind of lost its oomph. I mean, if I click the down arrow here, I always set my thing. And even though we have all these different things, it, it doesn't... I mean, we have old world recipes. We have cataclysm recipes. 
but we haven't found any recipes for stuff that we're doing right now. And with them actually making it so that, uh, I believe it's up to Shadowlands, uh, with the expansion, you'll be able to start a, a character and start them in any of the zones prior to Shadowlands. It seems like the cooking is definitely kind of taking a, a back step where, you know, and, and the mining. I don't even know. Well, we have come across some smell trees and stuff like that, but we've really never done much with it. I mean, smelt copper is still our, our base. We have <laughs> haven't done any smelting of copper because we haven't found copper. And apparently we can't do anything else until we get through smelt copper and then go retrain and stuff like that. So I, I hope that that's what they're talking about with the, with the professions. Because honestly, with our character here, we've done next to none of the things. I think, no, we haven't even done any of this. Um, because it's... It starts so basic and where we started there was no copper so if you want to actually uh, do professions you actually have to start in the original World of Warcraft worlds you know Kalimdor and uh, the Eastern Kingdoms and, and stuff like that Kalimdor is probably not the right thing uh, so that I do hope gets fixed because in in the first bunch of versions of WoW, I was all over doing all the different types of, of professions, engineering, all that fun stuff. And a lot of my characters are fairly far, you know, in those professions. And But it just doesn't have the same incentive to do that now. So we have a ghost guy there. What does this do? I'm a complex empowered. That's this guy. Okay, so that'll power up us too. That's actually good. We'll take that. Uh, so that's kind of my two cents there. Then they're also redoing the HUD where you're going to be able to move things around. That, I think, is going to be a very good thing. I think that's going to be awesome that you, know, you can customize it how you want. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this thing before we forget. Get one more. So we have another stone over there. Okay. Uh, if we do this guy, we're going to get a lot of guys, I think. I think we'll get him. Actually, we're kind of far from those guys up there. Let's steal from them. Uh, I guess this other guy's in combat with my, with the ghost dude. And he's just standing there taking it. Alright, well let's stun this guy since he's oblivious to what's going on. And let's go ahead and kill this guy because, well, we're going to get that other guy too. Alright, well, let's just do this because he's, he's not fighting back until we start attacking. I have sheared off a portion of their anima. It will heal your wounds if you approach it. Alright, do that real quick. Get this guy real quick. That actually went better than I thought it was going to. Oh, I'm not invisible. I was like, I can't ambush. Uh, yeah, I guess that wasn't a very insightful or maybe even good uh, <laughs> review. But uh, that's that's kind of how I feel about at it so far. I mean, overall, I think it's really good. And my biggest hope is that, you know, they do make professions that they're worthwhile again. Because, honestly, they have been, you know, kind of down there. All right, let's 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 continue on. I think there's a couple guys up here. Three guys. Let's, let's go and kill them. I can't get... Can I get money from any of y'all? I think if we take this guy. No pockets. Uh, and I can't stun him. So I guess we're just going to have to... 
get everyone on us again. And I did the wrong button. Kind of missed Trunky. Uh, let's go do this. Why not? Why well, I've been watching my own health. I gotta watch my health. <laughs> you guys been pounding on me. Yeah, let's do that. Do that. Got ten now. Wasn't there a rock up here? I thought there was something we could click on to give us more of the our bar. Uh, all right. Well. That was probably a really terrible uh, review. First look. Oh, there's a lot of guys over here. Hmm. I think we'll avoid those guys. I'm not uber powerful. We do have right here. Oh, never mind. I was going to say we have a guy right here that's just alone. All right, well, let's kill this guy. Do the right one. There we go. Pop that. Go ahead and grab this. Give us a little bit more. We might only need one more, which would be this guy right here. Uh, we can stun that guy. I don't think we can stun the wraith, so... Uh, but we can pick his pockets. Alright, so let's stun him. And then we'll get that other dude. Uh, da -da -da, a little closer. There we go. And I think we might be done with this quest. I don't know that we actually get anything for killing that one. Do not forget me. Do not forget me. Alright, and this Our forces have gathered at the shattered Finished. span. I shall meet you there. Alright, you meet me there. Alright, so let's go turn this in. Looks like it's a new location where we're going. Uh, down there. Horde guy. And uh, we're at Your forces are already pushed back. 18 have minutes. Lost. We have some dialogue going on here. You Not speak more than to just that. Okay. Uh, the resonator is working at full capacity. Our foes are dispatched. Excellent. My life for the Paragon. My life for the Horde. Do I have to go back up there for the other quest, though? We still have this one. Is it you? Um, oh, here it is. This little guy. What marvels exist on Not fully charged, but close enough. May have to disable a few safety features. The Colossus needs to finish charging. Buy me time. Oh, great. I think we're... Well, this seems like a decent stopping point. I was thinking this was going to automatically enter us into another thing. We have a nice mine over here since we've been talking about mining. Uh, here's, here's one that we can add to our collection of stuff. And not actually use it for anything. <laughs> I mean, even even with the professions the way they are, uh, if you don't have those first ones taken care of first, uh, you still can, you know, put this stuff on the auction house because people will buy it, um, and so you can make money. I mean, we're definitely not hurting in money. We've got three thousand, which is enough, but. There are people that actually have, like, millions of gold. That's just not me, I guess. Uh, let's see, is any of this... 
Is this actually a bag? It just says pouch. I think you just sell it. And then this thing. Yeah, it's not better than what we got. Yeah, we we need to get to a seller. Alright guys, well, I know this was a lot of talking and I kind of, you know, got tongue-tied a bit. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And don't forget to tell other people about my channel. Come check it out. If they like what they see, we grow the channel. Win-win. And that is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.